Welcome back my friends to another video. Today's video is going to be a tumbler video. Um, in this video I'm going to be working on a 20 ounce stainless steel skinny from Hog. And uh, on this tumbler I will be, I sanded it already. I'm going to spray paint it white. And I'm going to do the wood grain on it again. Um, I like doing the wood grain and this is for a man so um, anyway, so I'm going to do the wood grain on it, and then he, this is for my daughter, my ex-husband, my daughter's father. He has MS. He's had MS since I was pregnant with our daughter, and um, he has been bedrid bedridden for quite some time, a really, really long time since that. But he has hung on. He has, you know, still fighting the fight, and... Um, a lot has to do with our daughter and our granddaughter, in my opinion. <laughs> but anyhow, so he is a Seattle Seahawks fan. And for those football lovers. Um, so I am going to... I've already cut the decals out, but I'm going to layer Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks logo here and then on the opposite side, I'm going to put Seattle Seahawks on here. And then I'm going to also put his name down. So, if you are interested in seeing how I get this done, let's get on into the video. Okay, so while the paint is drying on that tumbler, um, I'm just showing you this is the design that I used. And never mind the background, that's from a previous tumbler. <laughs> the program I use is Silhouette. So it took me a little bit to figure out how to cut these out, but that is that there. This is how I laid out my decals, or excuse me, my vinyl to cut out that right there so i'm gonna put you on the tripod and we'll get to weeding this out all right so i'll just take all these off of my mat uh -oh. unless we cut his name and his name got cut off so i'm not sure i don't have that lined up right oh i forgot to move it over oh my bad Okay. Okay, and this little piece is just this tiny. See, I always scrape, keep my scraps because you never know what size of a piece you're going to need. And for that one, I just needed that little tiny piece. So that was pretty awesome. And this one I'm going to put right along. Line, I think. Oh. Right along this line right here. Usually I would use my paper cutter, but since it's so small, I just use that. My scissors, I mean. Okay, that's that piece. I'm going to cut this out or weed this out of here. This is the eyeball of the eagle, seagull. <laughs> uh, I call them the seagulls, the sea chickens. Because <laughs> I'm not a Seahawks fan. <laughs> My team's not any better, but I am definitely not a Seahawks. So I'm going to cut this one right here. And this little piece is the beak and um, the outline on the eye. And then another line on um, the image. Which is right there. See? Like 
that. My eyeball's gonna go there. And we can start with this. Carefully go back and we use that. Okay, like that, I'm gonna redo the, his name. I forgot to cut that hole out, so I might just try to do that by hand. With my knife, just cut a little piece out of it. Just enough to show through a little bit of the white. Without screwing up my leaf. the difference <laughs> okay so that's that and then we will come back so it's time to start doing the wood grain okay so I am back this is completely dry ready for its wood grain so paper out of the way so it's easier for me So the alcoholic ink that I'm going to be using is called Teakwood. It is by Tim Holtz. You can see that. What you do is you just take the line, go all the way down, take your brush, my two inch chip brush, and swipe up and down. It's much better when your base paint is completely dry. <laughs> the cup that I did for my gardener, not my gardener, my grandma's gardener, um, wasn't quite dry, and so that's what I had a problem with on that one. Just go ahead and go completely around this tumbler, creating your wood grain look. And any spots that I've missed, I'm done, I'll go back. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free.
Okay, so I'm ready to supply my decals and I'm going to start or make the Seahawks, Seattle Seahawks go down this way from the opening of the cup. So when you drink it, you can see, see it that way. Um, so this is going to be a layered one, so I'm going to first take this off of here backing. I'm going to use the lines on my transfer tape to line up the words, the letters, and then to also line it up on the cup. So probably this as well. Maybe if it's you can see better. Okay, so try to just eyeball. Really good because I don't want to air proof. Okay. Turn this side all off again. to use I want to try to get it straight I'm not going to get it straight <laughs> use my ruler here as a guide to help get it Ah, 
there. Go up there. Makes that sound really good. Okay, so then we're going to take this beast and we're going to put him on the opposite side. Put him up closer because I want his name at the bottom. I don't want it too close because I need to be the lip up here. But the stain is still coming through. Not coming through, but I need to leave this seal up here for when I epoxy. <laughs> Okay, there's that. Use that as a guide. I'm sure you can do that <laughs> to line that up. Very good down here. That's pretty awesome if I do say so myself. <coughs> Pardon me. You look at being the Seahawks. <laughs> Uh, it's funny when you're a sports fan, you don't like other teams. No, you don't like them, but they're not your favorite team. Miss Fargo. <laughs> uh, my dad is lucky I love her. I guess the worst part, though, is... Actually, I'm not going to say that, because I was going to say something political, but I'm not going to, because I don't want to stir the start and nothing so keep my political views to myself okay all right and then his name Right on the right, where it doesn't really. I think I'm going to put it right here.
Okay. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's go through. Make sure you get all these air bubbles out. Press it to the edges, or you can poke your needle in it, your exacto uh, knife. Poke any holes out. Air pockets. Oh, not holes. Poke, poke any air pockets out. I don't want those anymore. All right, so I'm going to work on that. And the next step is going to be to spray coat, spray paint it with a coat, two coats of Rust-Oleum two times matte clear, clear matte. So once I do that, it's going to be ready for epoxy. So I'll bring you back when this baby is finished. Okay, so I am back. This tumbler has two coats of two times clear Rust-Oleum on it, and it is ready for some epoxy. So normally I would take this and swirl it and kind of make it look like a log, but because I didn't do an edgy lay on it, I decided to just leave it this way. So up next will be 20 ounces of KS Resins Liquidy Split, 15 ml of Part A and 15 ml of Part B. So, Okay, I am back with this beautiful, beautiful Seahawks tumbler. And I would normally never say that in the Seahawks and beautiful together, but <laughs> this tumbler turned out amazing. Really love how it turned out. Again, I made this for my daughter's father, my ex husband. Um, he has MS. And with COVID, his son has been taking care of him well not with COVID but his son has been take care of care of taking care of him <laughs> and with COVID um, his son is really kind of a little odd about it so he wouldn't let my daughter give him anything unless it was something that was able to be washed so this little beauty is able to be washed he's a diehard Seahawks fan and he's going to love this tumbler so if you loved this tumbler, tumbler and you enjoyed my video and you are not currently subscribed to my video, please, or to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit that uh, bell so you get notified each and every time I upload a new video containing either a tumbler, a painting, or some resin art. It's crafty creations. Who knows? <laughs> Um, if you are a current subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up also if you enjoyed my video. Um, with that being said, though, uh, thank you so much again. And have a good day. Have a good night, whatever it may be for you. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.